Very exciting. Just got our new Powermatic drum sander, wide belt drum sander. It's got shipped in in this crate on the pallet. I think it's 350 pounds or so, 400 pounds with the packaging. Pretty well assembled. Part of the reason I got this one is the uh, biggest one I could find with 110. Here it is right there, PM2244. There's a manual, here's the accessory box, right the outfeed table, the height adjustment, the directions, first one. There's the outfeed table, put that on. Got new tools, always so exciting. We have the sander all hooked up. We got the central vac with the four inch dust vac on it. It is 110. This is the largest drum sander I could find that was still 110. Getting electrical in a shop in a high school witch house is pretty hard. Here are the controls right here on it. Here's the main power switch that turns it on. It has a positive lockout. So if that's pushed in, you can't turn anything on. You got to gently turn that. Here's my feed rate. Here's the printout on the feed rate or the digital display of it. It's traveling four feet per minute or 48 inches per minute. And then that's whether the drum's on or not. Turn the drum on, this green button. And now I can see that thing spinning and the drum's on. On the other sand, we had a lot of problems people overloading it. And I'm hoping this feed logic's gonna work and also the digital printout. So let me turn everything off. Let me bring that feed wheel all the way up. Not all the way up, but let me bring it up. Here's a gross measurement right here. So I'm gonna bring it all the way up. And I'm gonna bring it down so it's just off so that it's not touching the feed roller there. So I'm kind of close to it, but I'm still up above it. I think the best way to kind of gauge it is to very slowly bring it down until it just touches it, run it all the way through, and then zero that and call that top of stock and take off about 15 thou per pass. Obviously, it's very dependent on the grid of the sandpaper. This is 80 grit, dependent on the width of the board, the type of wood, the feed rate, a lot of variables here. But you can see when it comes out of the planer, I have those snipe marks. Um, so that's what I'm trying to get out. So I'm going to turn it on and turn the drum on. I'm up above, turn my feet on, feed it through. And as it's going through, I'm going to just bring it down. That's about the load I want. One bar, you know, turn it up. Two bars, a little more load there. You have to have the vac on with the top removal like this. I don't have the vac on only because I can't talk over it. That thing only engaged about here, so I'm gonna feed it through one more time. Let me go turn the vac on. I'm all the way through. It's all a flat plane right here. Okay, I got the vac off so I could talk again. You could probably see how nice that is. It is 80 grit sand, so it is pretty coarse sanding. This all looks good. I just zeroed it again. I want to take it down 25 thou, coming down this way, negative 25 thou. I'll run it through at that. This will probably overload it now, and we'll see how that feed logic works. One bar, there, there's the feed logic right there. Slowed it way down. You can see it going back and forth right there. I'm 
And you know, you see that thing accelerate back up? So that's it right there. Did a beautiful job, took a lot of wood off. Um, turn the, the saw. Then looking at the drum right here, didn't burn it at all, kind of jammed it up a little bit. That looks good. All right, I'm loving this thing. Loving this thing.